Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or MRI, is a non-invasive medical test that helps physicians diagnose and treat medical conditions. MRI uses a powerful magnetic field, radio frequency pulses, and a computer to produce detailed pictures of organs, soft tissue, and bone, and virtually all other internal body structures. MRI does not use ionizing radiation or x-rays. In preparation for the exam, jewelry and other accessories should be left at home if possible or removed prior to the MRI scan because they can interfere with the magnetic field of the MRI unit. Metal and electronic objects are not allowed in the exam room. These items include jewelry, watches, credit cards, and hearing aids, all of which can be damaged. Removable dental work, pens, pocket knives, and eyeglasses, and body piercings. You may be asked to wear a gown during the exam, or you may be allowed to wear your own clothing if it's loose fitting and has no metal fasteners. You will lie on a scan table that slides into a large circular opening of the scanning machine. Pillows and straps may be used to prevent movement during the procedure. You will be given earplugs or a headset to wear to help block out the noise from the scanner. Some headsets may provide music for you to listen to. During the scanning process, a clicking noise will sound as the magnetic field is created and pulses of radio waves are sent from the scanner. It will be important for you to remain very still during the examination as any movement could cause distortion and affect the quality of the scan. At intervals, you may be instructed to hold your breath or not to breathe for a few seconds, depending on the body part being examined. The cervical MRI can be viewed in two different planes, a side view or sagittal view, which is the image on the left, and a bottom-up view or actual view, which is the image on the right. In this image, we are looking at the center of the spine and we can tell by looking at the cut line on the right image. The cut line can be moved on either direction and allow us to see the spine in multiple dimensions. On the left image, we see a person's profile. It's a sagittal view. We see the back of the neck and the head. Here we see the throat and the chin. You can see the muscle here and the fat here. We see the brain stem, the cerebellum, and this structure which comes all the way down to the end of the lumbar spine is the spinal cord. The white that we see is the spinal fluid, or CSF, inside the spinal canal. The first and second vertebrae are very different from the rest. Here we see the individual vertebrae and here as well. These are the discs that are in between the vertebrae and they receive their name after the vertebrae they are in between. For an example, this would be a C4, C5 disc. You should move slowly when getting up from the scanner table to avoid any dizziness or lightheadedness from lying flat for the length of the procedure. If any sedatives were taken for the procedure, you may be required to rest until the sedatives have worn off. You will also need to avoid driving. If you notice any pain, redness, or swelling at the IV site after you return home following your procedure, you should notify your doctor as this could indicate an infection or a type of reaction.